Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Erica Lucas and this is my husband Andy and today we are back in the Pennsylvania house and we are going through the attic. Well, we're not going to go through every box. What we're doing is pulling out and sorting between keep or trash because of the damage in the attic from fiberglass and I share videos every week about minimalism and making life simple. So let's get started. And then we keep, we'll wipe off and bring it back in. We're taking everything to the yard. We're taking everything to the yard. So we're back in the Pennsylvania house doing some final things before the movers come in a few days. Brought Rangy with us. The kids are at my mom's. And I am getting things off the wall and doing any final preparations for the packers. Yeah, so he's got coveralls that are going to end up in the trash when he's done. And he's hauling everything from the attic to the front yard. We're going to wipe down anything that we can save and throw everything else out onto the street. I'm not going to do a curb alert for it because if it's something we wouldn't keep because of the fiberglass particles, then it's not something I'd want another family to have to deal with. So it's going to be trash. We have giant contractor bags. So this is a finish of a job that I started. I did two rounds of the attic declutter and Andy's about to finish it. So this is our final attic declutter. If you're new to this story, the fiberglass has fallen from the ceiling enough times that it's created particle dust everywhere and on everything and it just wasn't worth salvaging so many things. I didn't know what to do with the things once I discovered the situation and you guys supported me and helped me know the right way to dispose of things. So Andy's going to go up and get started and since you're going straight out to the yard I'm going to put Rangy out in the yard. Good point. You guys, this path that I've been on for nearly a year now, coming up, at, we're at 10 months of minimalism and decluttering and, and just addressing my health. And I have been on a journey of simple living. It is really what this journey is boiling down to, simplifying our lives. You know, moving ourselves a couple days ago was not stressful. I, I dare say it was easy in comparison to other moves that we have done. Andy said the same thing, how simple it is. And when we came and picked him up after deployment, it was simple. We just had a couple of things to load in the car. And so once I have gotten rid of all of this stuff and including these things in the attic, our life is gonna feel even more simple. And over the last 10 months, what's really become important to me are five things. These are the five things that have really become important to me. One is our family time, the five of us together, quality time without the anxiety and stress that I used to feel about clutter and the busyness and the chaos that came with an, a crazy life, an unsimplified life. And so that is really the reason I got down this path in the first place was to spend more time with my family. The second reason that came to light very quickly was money and addressing our debt, addressing my shopping habits, my spending habits, my lack of knowledge and redirecting the way money works for us. And instead of us working so hard for money, changing it so that money is working for us. And it's a big change and it's, you know, 44 years old and he's going to turn 44 next month. And so prioritizing how we spend our money has become extremely important over the last year. Another thing that became really important to me over the last 10 months is the relationship that my children have with God and the relationship my husband and I have with God and the relationship the five of us are working on together and folding more Bible study and praying and grace and appreciation for the things that we have has become very important. And by simplifying my life, I'm able to put more of a spiritual focus into the day for our family. Another thing that's also very important to me now is my own health and self-care. It is not something I prioritized ever like I do now. And it feels so good physically and emotionally and spiritually to take care of myself, to treat my body with respect and to feed it the foods that it should be fed. 
and take care of myself with walks and breaks and slow living and simple living. And then the fifth thing is how we are treating our earth. And my journey of zero waste and lower waste is strong. I feel it on my heart so much. And I have been making a lot of small changes and seeing how they stick, how they work, and really consciously trying to make sustainable and ethical decisions that are protecting our planet and our resources. So those are the five things that have really come to light for me in Simple Living that going through this attic declutter cements those five things as the most important even more because this is just stuff. Sentimental is wonderful and I'm very glad that we're able to keep it because we are genuinely spending time with it as we come across it. I'm looking forward to doing a mystery box declutter with Andy. It should be interesting to find what we, what we see in some of these boxes and bins. No idea what's in here. So this, this attic declutter has really made me appreciate those five things even more and continue to heighten them on our daily focus even more. Looking through some of these boxes was bittersweet because I'm really okay with letting go of a lot of things that are up here because of the incident of the fiberglass. But looking at some of this, I am glad we're hanging on to it and moving it. There are memories in here. There's Christmas decorations that I truly, really enjoy bringing out in December and remembering my childhood and providing that to my own children. And so there's a lot of things that I'm, I'm grateful for that we're able to recover from this haul and I'm really okay with the amount of trash that we ended up with because I don't want to hang on to everything anymore. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this filling in I want to dry up but you Just keep on going don't you I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all. I want to pay and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all
done. It's done. It's done. Oh my gosh. How do you feel? Hot and sticky. Yeah. This is all clean over here, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Let me show you the trash pile. This bag. There's our trash pile down there. The trash pile for tomorrow. Yeah, for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Then this is all trash on future pickups because we can't put a lot down. It's all trash that's... These were stinky bins. They can't be reused. So all things that were too damaged by fiberglass, broken or otherwise. We actually had some empty boxes in the attic. That's what those are. And then this is the trash pile for tomorrow morning. All right, so let me show you what we saved and we're able to salvage. We're gonna move it into the garage. Do we need curtains? We don't, you can throw them out. Let Apple me show you. Bath mats. That's all trash. Do you want some coax cable? No. No? Mm -mm. I can't believe it. She's not a you... coax cable kind of girl. So bins, we wiped off real good with the fiberglass, same with the boxes, just kind of wiped them down. And then this, we're trying to save this chair. I wiped it really good, so I'm pretty confident about sitting in it. This is the rocking chair that my mom used to rock me, so I'd like to hang on to that. Anything that was in a bin that we couldn't save because it was cracked or whatever, I was able to wipe down and save. So I saved a couple of things. And then we don't know, except for the Christmas bins, we don't really know truly what's in here. Usually what it's label ad, labeled as is not what it is. So we are going to have a decluttering party when we get to the new house. We are going to have a mystery box declutter coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. I share videos about decluttering, minimalism, and making life simple. Thanks for watching. Here's the latest video.